hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 2 mechanics of materials by rc hippler and the problem says that part of a control linkage for an airplane consists of rigid member cbd and a flexible cable ab if a force is applied to in d of the member and causes it to rotate by th theta equals to 0 0.3 determine the normal strain in the cable originally the cable is unstretched so we are given this mechanism this uh, cbd rod, rod is rigid rod and when some force p is applied here at point d uh, that rotates this cbd linkage by an angle of 0 0.3 degrees so we are asked to determine the normal strain in the cable so this AB, this cable is flexible and there, there will be a change in the length of this AB. So we are asked to find um, the normal strain in the cable. So again we can say that the, the normal strain in cable AB will be equal to the change in length of AB divided by the initial length or the original length and this will be equal to the change in length of AB will be equal to, let's say that uh, after that angle theta equals 0 0.3, this point B will be somewhere here. So let's say that this point B will be somewhere here. And this pink line represents the length of AB after that angle theta. So let's say that this point is B dash. So we can say that after uh, the rotation of this CBD for an angle of 0 0.3 this is the final length LAB dash so we can say that the change in length of AB will be equal to LAB dash minus LAB divided by the initial length LAB now we, we need to find LAB so we can use this uh, right angle triangle we can use this right angle triangle here this angle is 90 degree initially this CBD rod is vertical so this angle is 90 degree so to find the initial length we can use the Pythagoras theorem so we can say that AB will be equal to this square plus this square under the square root so we can say that LAB is equal to 400 square this 400 square plus this 300 square under the square root so this is 400 square plus 300 square this is equal to 500 mm so 500 mm is the initial length of ab before the rotation of that cbd and similarly we have to find this l a b dash so now you guys can see that we have this triangle which is not right angle triangle so we can say if i draw a vertical line here so this angle is 90 degree and this small angle is given which is 0 0.3 so this means that this total angle is 90.3 so we can say that this angle is 90.3 degrees now we can find uh, we can say that this uh, since the cbd rod is rigid so the distance between this uh, c and b dash will remain 300 so this is 300 as well this is 400 and using law of cosines we can find this so using law of cosines we can say that l a b dash will be equal to this 400 square plus this 300 square minus 2 times 400 into 300 and cause of the opposite angle to this LAB dash so that is 90.3 so cause of 90.3 and under the square root so using law of cosines we will be able to find the final length of that AB wire so 400 square plus 300 square minus 2 times 400 into 300 multiply by cause of 90.3 so this is equal to 501.2551 millimeter. So now we can say that this will be equal to 
501.2551 minus 500 the initial length is 500 so 500 divided by 500 putting everything in calculator so this will be that answer minus 500 divided by 500 so this gives us this the normal strain in that wire that flexible wire ab is we can say that this is equal to 0 0.002510 millimeter per millimeter so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from mechanics of materials by rc hibler